Here at the main vaccination center in the Serbian capital Belgrade, citizens are streaming in to get vaccinated against COVID-19. Among them is Dalton Churanovic. The 49-year-old taxi driver is getting his first of two vaccine shots. It's a happy day for me. I will be with that suspicion about diseases and COVID. Vaccines in Serbia are offered free to every citizen over 18 years of age. This is the largest vaccination center in the country. Serbian health authorities say between 7 to 10,000 people get immunized here every day. As nations across the world scramble to inoculate their populations, there are so many vaccines here, Churanovic was able to pick which one he wanted to receive. The vaccines on offer here and in centers across Serbia are the Russian Sputnik V, Western developed vaccines such as Pfizer and AstraZeneca, and then there's the Chinese Sinopharm, which by far exceeds the others in availability. And you only chose Sinopharm? Mm, yes, it's my choice. Why? I don't know. I believe in Chinese. Serbia has a population of around 7 million citizens. It was the first country in Europe to approve and start using the Chinese-produced Sinopharm vaccine. By the beginning of March, 2 million Chinese vaccines had arrived here. That's far greater than what Western pharmaceuticals or Russia, a traditional Serbian ally, could provide. Because of the Chinese vaccine deliveries, by mid-March Serbia had vaccinated more adults than any of the other 27 countries in the European Union, becoming continental Europe's best vaccinator. The country raced ahead with inoculations at double the rate of Spain and Germany, internationally tailing only behind Israel, the UK and the US. Top-level Serbian ministers were among the first to get injections. The Minister of Internal Affairs received the Russian vaccine. Prime Minister Anna Brnabic, widely believed to be the Western face of the Serbian government, got the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. The Minister of Health got his injection with the Chinese vaccine. Vuk Vuksanovic is a scholar of international relations at the London School of Economics and the think tank Belgrade Security Forum. The prevalent foreign policy strategy for Serbia is to balance and play Western and non-Western powers against each other, so to avoid putting all your eggs in a single basket. By March, Serbia hadn't received a single Western vaccine through the European Union or the international COVAX program. Its tens of thousands of Pfizer and AstraZeneca vaccines were secured independently from manufacturers. Russia sent hundreds of thousands of vaccines, but no way near what China could offer. China has become uh, Serbia's best uh, friend in the East. They literally replaced uh, Russia as the primary partner outside the Western world. Historically, uh, we haven't seen anything like this. In the past, Serbia and Beijing had uh, healthy political uh, relations and, uh, and good political understanding, but nothing that can suggest this level of collaboration or this uh, level of influence by Beijing in Serbia. Part of the answer to why China is interested in Serbia lies in geography. Situated at a crossroads between the East and the West, Serbia has become the bridgehead to Europe in China's ambitious mega-infrastructure project called the Belt and Road Initiative, or for short, BRI. It's the countries along this modern-day Silk Road that have been targeted for Beijing's so-called vaccine diplomacy. By, um practicing the uh, vaccine diplomacy, I think Beijing hopes it can facilitate the implementation of the BRI initiative. That is, after all, the most important foreign policy initiative Beijing launched in the 21st century. China's President Xi Jinping has called his country's vaccines, quote, a global public good. By March this year, Chinese vaccines had been rolled out globally in 25 countries. For China, Serbia is a launching pad to access to the wider European market. This high-speed rail project, set to be finished by mid-2024, is financed with 4.7 billion US dollars in primarily Chinese loans. Serbia isn't just receiving railroads and vaccines. Chinese loans are also financing the construction of new highways and bridges like this one across the river Danube. 
At a recent press conference, President Alexander Vucic presented new Chinese investments and infrastructure projects. He also recalled the time early this year when he asked the Chinese ambassador to Serbia, Chen Bo, for vaccines. I was ill-mannered and bold. I had to ask from the Chinese something that is not normal for them to fulfill. Can we, after getting a million vaccines, quickly get another 500,000 and another 500,000? I kept insisting, and as you see, they literally fulfilled all our wishes. The vaccine deliveries from China has put a partnership with the European Union to the test. Serbia is only an EU candidate country, but expected its future European family to help with the most important weapon in the fight against the pandemic. Speaking at a conference in early February, the French president recalled receiving a message from his Serbian counterpart about Chinese vaccine deliveries. The Serbian president was here. He get access to vaccines thanks to Chinese cooperation to be very direct with you. With a clear and, and genuine remark, these guys are more efficient than your COVAX initiatives, the European Union, my very good friends. The EU has helped elsewhere. It built crucial infrastructure for the vaccine campaign in Serbia, hired 200 medical workers and shipped a fleet of special COVID ambulance vehicles. The US ambassador to Serbia, Anthony F. Godfrey, waved off China's growing influence in Serbia. Frankly, the government of Serbia has a right to be very proud of how well it's done in procuring vaccines. Serbia is an independent country uh, with its own foreign policy, its own economic policy. He stressed that most of Serbia's economy remains tied not to the east, but to the west. It's my view and the government of Serbia's view that Serbia's future lies with Europe. And 70% of its economy is focused there. It's my hope, though, that our Serbian partners will see the value of uh, engaging with uh, companies that are transparent, that answer to stockholders and boards of directors uh, rather than uh, party officials. The price of the Chinese vaccines, as well as the cost of Russian and Western vaccines, is a state secret. The Serbian government, as well as the Chinese ambassador to Serbia, did not respond to interview requests. At the press conference, though, President Vucic fired back at accusations of Beijing's growing influence in his country. Did China do anything bad to us? Have we been under any political or economic or other kinds of pressures? I don't care what anyone says. I'm interested in what Serbian citizens will say. Serbia is on the European path, but yes, Serbia is collaborating well with China, and we will collaborate even better and we will collaborate even more. With seemingly plenty of vaccines to go around already, Belgrade ventured into its own regional vaccine diplomacy, donating batches to its struggling neighbors. In mid-February, the first vaccines to arrive in North Macedonia came from Serbia. Another Serbian donation arrived in Bosnia in early March. Back at the vaccination center, Churanovic is getting his injection. Like many others here today, he has only praised for the government. They did really well and I salute them for that. My government has worked the way it should for the people. I'm satisfied as a citizen in this country. Who are our real friends? That's Russia and China, because they send us the vaccines. By mid-March, Serbia had fully vaccinated 15% of its adult population. If it becomes the first country in continental Europe to reach full mass vaccination, it will be largely thanks to Chinese vaccine diplomacy, injected one shot at a time.